Hello, and welcome to the ICC Modbus Master Tool Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect to a Modbus TCP slave device. In order to read or write any registers on a device, you must first connect to it. This ensures that the tool can successfully communicate with your device and the communication settings are correct. Let's get started. First, click on the connection status icon here. This icon will always display the current connection status. When clicked, it will connect or disconnect from a slave device. This will bring up the media selection window. Select Ethernet and click OK. Next, we need to set up our communication settings. Enter the IP address of your MABA slave into the IP address field. The port can be left at the Modbus TCP default of 502. If your device uses a port other than the default, you can enter it here. The unit identifier is sometimes used as the Modbus slave address, allowing multiple slaves to exist at the same IP address. If your device uses the unit identifier, enter the value here. Since our slave ignores this field, we can leave it at the default value of 1. After you've configured the communication settings, click the OK button to connect. If the settings are correct, the tool will connect to the device. The status icon will now change to connected. You'll also notice that the status here on the right has changed from disconnected to indicate that we're now connected to a device at the IP address we entered. To disconnect, simply click on the connection icon again and the status will change back to disconnected. If you'd like to learn more about what you can do with the tool after connecting to a device, take a look at the tutorials for uploading, downloading, verifying, and logging. Thanks for watching.